introducing Dr. Jackie Damages. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We're coming to you from the greatest city in the world, New York City. New York is so great that we are getting ready to elect a woman as our mayor. She won't be coming into office alone. She promises to bring her new wife to Grace Mansion. Have you been following the U.S. presidential race? No. Last week, Mitt Romney's campaign got energized with a surprise pick of a running mate. Yes. Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Romney picked Representative Paul Ryan. Mm -hmm. The 42-year-old is known as the intellectual powerhouse of the Republican Party. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ryan's mantra is simple until I look for snow in Southern California and I do not see it, I wouldn't believe in global warming. What? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, with that move, Obama's chance of winning re-election has further diminished. But trust Obama, being a good son of Africa, he did not throw his hands up in the air. He simply went for the sun. Look, look, look at this picture. What? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, you may not want to vote for Obama, but once you look at that picture, you are hypnotized. Mm, hypnosis. Yeah. <laughs> By now, you must have heard that Nigeria won zero medals at the London Olympic zero. Games. Zero. 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 <laughs> President Jonathan is still mad that we spent 2.5 billion naira to attend the parade. What? He has set up a committee to find a committee that will look into the reasons why in an era of good luck and patience, our athletes failed. <laughs> well, well, the president can save himself the trouble because the answer is clear from one mile away. Good luck and patience gave our athletes bad luck and impatience. <laughs> some, some people look at the Boko Haram problem and they think that doing number one has turned into doing number two. But not President Jonathan. He is willing to cut his manhood and give it to Boko Haram. What? Yeah. Ask why he has not crushed Boko Haram. The president said, we are soft on Boko Haram because they are our siblings. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot mobilize the whole soldiers to go and wipe out your entire family. Oh. Yeah. He said that. Hey, yeah. yeah. I wish there's a way to let Boko Haram soldiers know that wiping out entire families is a no-no in this war. Yeah. <laughs> in an ongoing Boko Haram-inspired national conversation, a prominent voice has emerged in northern Nigeria. Yes. He is Sheikh Ahmed Abubakar Gumi. Wow. Mm -hmm. Many people do not know that his father was the late Sheikh Mahmoud Abubakar Gumi, the man that translated the Quran from Arabic to Hausa. During the first Gulf War, the senior Gumi was asked why should Saudi Arabia bring American infidels to the Holy Land to defend it. He gave a classic answer that placed him straight into the history books. Sheikh Gumi Sr. said that although a Muslim is not allowed to drink alcohol, if a bone is stuck in his throat, he is permitted to drink alcohol to help the bone go down. Very good, very good. Now, here are the top 10 less known facts about Junior Sheikh Abu Bakr Gumi. Number 10, for obvious reasons, he does not eat meat cooked with a single bone inside. Mm -hmm. Imagine what it takes to cook fish for him. Mm. Number 9, he has such an old soul that when he looks at President Goodluck Jonathan, he sees Major General Agu Yuronsi. <laughs> Number 8, he was admitted to a medical school in Saudi Arabia, but he changed his mind when he discovered that laughter is the best medicine. <laughs> Number seven, unlike you, he was born in the house of his father. Wow. Mm -hmm. Number six, his childhood friend was Reverend Chris Okotie. They did everything together. They married at the same time, their first and the second wife. No. They only fell apart when Chris Okotie asked him to participate in a wife swap. <laughs> Number five, he dropped his secondary school nickname, Elvis, when he joined the military. Wow. <laughs> Number four, he joined the family shake business when Bishop David Oyedepo bought his second private jet. <laughs> Number three, he grew his beard 
while in detention in Saudi Arabia for making fun of the underwear bomber, Abdul Mutalab. <laughs> Number two, he has a lost twin brother named Tunde Bakare. <laughs> And the number one less known fact about Sheikh Abubakar Gumi is that his sincerest wish is for a peaceful world. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> for those of you who write rubbish about President Jonathan, your time is up. That's it. Yeah, this week the president took over the back cover of the influential This Day newspaper as a guest columnist. Hmm. Yeah, in his first column, he paid tribute to the late president Atta Miles of Ghana. Wow. He wrote that they had a lot in common. Mm. They were both lecturers. Mm. They were both vice presidents. Mm. They were both tall, mm. both dark, mm. both married with children. Mm. And they both have 206 bones in their bodies. Mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> President Jonathan concluded that they shared a kind of brotherhood. What he left unsaid was that they both got their PhD with the same thesis. That is the Atta Miles thesis. <laughs> Talking about cheating, Farid Zakari has been suspended by CNN and Time magazine for lifting the work of another writer without giving him credit. Oh, no. When Nigerian reporters went to Re'ebu to find out if the punishment fits the crime, Re'ebu said to them, Hence you home, you idle creatures. Is this a holiday? No, you're not pumping. Many a times and often have you climbed up the windows and... You don't get it. No. <laughs> he was copying somebody else in his room. <laughs> Real men prove their manhood by going out there to grab the mustache of lion. Mm. If you are in doubt, watch Sheikh Abdul Abubakar Gumi wrestle with Boko Haram. But some men, they simply add lion to their names. Mm. Like Snoop Dogg wants to be called Snoop Lion. 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 Attack Dogg, Doin Okupe wants to be called Attack Lion. 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 Well, well, Kenny G has a different idea. He now wants to be called Kenny D. Hey. Where D stands for dog. No, 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 I mean divorce. <laughs> Kenny G and his wife are divorcing after 20 years of marriage. What? Yeah, so sad. Psychologists have concluded that this is the final proof that there is no G spot. Mm. No, no, no. <laughs> Someone said that every woman wants a bad guy who is gentle only for her. Mm. And every man wants a good girl who is naughty only for him. What? <laughs> but what if the girl is Charlie Boy? I swear, this will be my last Charlie yeah. Boy joke in the, la in the next one week. Yes. This week, the woman in Charlie Boy finally came out. Mm. Her name is Linda. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not to be outdone, two women jumped out of Doin Okube. Their names are Rubena Abati and Abati Rubena. <laughs> Another basket mouth, Femi Fane Kayode, is in a big battle with Usman Farouk. Femi's issue is that it was Yoruba that won the Nigeria Biafra Civil War for Nigeria and not the Hausas. I'm like, why all these arguments? If you are sure you won the war, go up north and finish up the new war going on there. Come on, <laughs> prove it to us that you won some for all. Anyway, for those who believe, Elvis died 35 years ago today. Thank God we still have the band. The band is alive and he's in love with an unusual cocolet. A cheetah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. A newspaper said that he is shooting a musical video with the animal. But I smell something else. I think the band is really determined to break the record set by Michael Jackson and Bubbles. Watch. That's our show for today. Until next week, I diagnose. You hear yourself. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.